Okay. Let me check right quick. Do I have... Yeah, I got some frag grenades. And I got a Molotov cocktail. Let's have the frag grenade. Let's use a Molotov. Ooh, that's a machine gun turret. What the hell was that? You can see why those turrets are bad news in a way. Oof. That almost failed. Had the darn mic off. Well, that was interesting, don't you think? Uh, of course, uh, I'm gonna, I reckon I'll have to be a lot more careful with my placement of landmines in the future. Oh boy.
Now continuing down this way, we'll come to the sewers. And we've also got some uh, traps set up to alert of uh, ghouls. Which, yeah, we got some down there. Yeah, we got some down here already. We're going to let that turret actually take care of them. We kill the turret. Disarm the charms. Okay, we got a raider. Ooh. Well, that ghoul triggered the triggered the mine. Shotgun, leather, leather, good. Take that, you don't need it no more. Telephone. Probably he was thinking he could go up to the t call up to the top side. <laughs> okay. Looks like that was Lonnie, and this is his terminal. Let's have a look and see what he was. Let's see. Let's have a look at his thoughts, huh? Lexington. Hmm. So short. Cleared out the ghouls without losing anyone and setting up shop in the big car factory. Swept through town. Ghoul stragglers, apartment blocks. He's got his eye on an apartment. Let's see, another gun turret. Says he's working on it, but isn't convinced but he but he ain't convinced, he's just blowing him off. Get back to playing with his chems. Okay, so apparently Jared is the leader of this group of bandits. And apparently he is a chem junkie. He loves playing with chems, drugs. Let's see, pipe access into Lexington has been great for us so far, but if we don't defend it properly, might as well be an open invitation. Well, I didn't come in through that way, so I didn't know about it. Drinking party. Gristle and the boys almost got us killed the other night drinking down here. Bunch of ghouls didn't want to miss the party and stumbled in through the pipe. Luckily the boys could hold their liquor and were able to shoot straight. <laughs> okay. Well, you ain't got to worry about Gristle getting drunk anymore. Needs to get his head out of his ass. <laughs> Try 
Trying to figure out this sight thing. The sight? Yeah, that's what Mama, Mama Murphy, the one of the settlers we rescued, she has. Hmm. Gristle says I'm just going to make him mad, but someone has to make him see reason. Okay. Kind of paints a picture of the, uh... Kind of paints a picture of the boss of this group, doesn't it? Chem obsessed and apparently is eager to do something or trying to figure something out okay in here what have we got in here I love finding adhesive adhesive means more mods Can't take any of that. That's oh, that's radioactive. Don't want any part of that. Looks like a hit, looks like a hideaway break area. But next to radioactive barrels, really. Sheesh. Okay, so we're back in the main area. Gone. A, we've basically done a complete loop. Oh, that's some ammo I missed. A raider I missed. Okay. Yep. I got to level up. There we go. Since I'm starting to actually get some more settlements, I've got two at the moment. I'll have three. Uh, no, I, I got three at the moment. Uh, ten pines will be four. Let's go ahead and get that one. That will allow us to set up supply lines between workshop settlements. What this does basically is um, it links the workshops together so that you can use. So any supplies you have in one settlement will be available to you in another when you uh, go to improve that one. We got an elevator, but that would ruin the element of surprise I know here I am talking about stealth again Now time to confront Jared and the remainder of the bandits. We 
You got a terminal here. Looks like it connects to that protectron. Okay. Nope. All right, time to go through the code, lines of code here. See if we can't uh, figure this out a bit. Okay, tries got reset. Dud removed. Okay, so sewer had one, speed had two in common. So let's try this. Okay, likeness two, noted, three. Named. Alright, protect. Okay. Now we can stick this protectron on the raiders. Let's see, first choose personality mode. Let's do law enforcement. And activate. Please advise any personnel standing near charge pod to make way. Powering up protectron on duty. Motherfucker! Intruder, identify yourself. Ooh. That protectron's doing pretty darn good. I guess we killed, uh, we killed Jared. Law and order has prevailed. Oh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> of course, uh, get a little bit of assistance from the machine, and it kind of works. Protect and serve. <laughs> Commencing yeah. attack on hostile target. <laughs> You attack my dog, I'm gonna shoot you.
Oh, talk about setting off a chain reaction. That's right, that's Jared's safe. He's got a key on him, so I don't need to I don't need to lock pick it. That takes care of that annoying searchlight. Okay, cut the shit hoop up in there now. What do you think? Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Let us say that's pretty. Who's there? Over there. I had forgotten that two raiders come down to reinforce or check on everybody. Um, that was them just took out with a Molotov cocktail.
Excellent. Got another Grognet comic book. Uh, Grognet comic books actually increase your melee skills, if I recall correctly. Jared's Terminal. Let's take a look inside the mind of a raider, shall we? That was a joke. Aha! We finally have it. So, Gristle spotted the caravan, spotted Preston and Mala Murphy, informed Jared, and Jared sent Gristle and a group out to collect her. Wonder if she'll recognize me? Of course she will. She saw this coming, after all. Hmm. <laughs> well, she probably wasn't going to be too worried. Because after all, Jared is no more. Okay, and we've got the spotlight control. Let's see. Ra Admin Raiders, Unit Connected 3. I think I destroyed all three. Yep, all three are offline. Turret control. Error, all clear. Yeah, I destroyed both targets. I destroyed both the uh, both turrets. So yeah, no need to worry about that anymore. So that's done. Uh, last thing, let's go down here. Saw a safe. Oh, come on. There we go. Core Vega safe key. We got a 308 round. Couple of 38 rounds, bottle caps, Raider armor, and a bolt action pistol. Okay. We're a little bit over encumbered, but hey, that's alright. Hey. Just put a. Just give a dog meat a few more things. Yep, okay, he can't carry anymore. That leaves me with eight pounds of spare, uh, well, seven pounds, technically. Spare equipment. Gold watch. Hmm, this guy's in a wheelchair. Probably one of the work, possibly one of the workers. Hmm. You really never can tell.
Okay, so that's this area cleared. Looks like we've scavenged just about anything, everything we could carry. The only thing left to do is head out and head back to the uh, head back to the settlers. Uh, so, yeah, the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. Wait a minute. Here we are. There's the... No, that ain't him. Or maybe it was and I was just missing something. Okay. Yes, here we go. Yep, and these are feral ghouls. While they can easily be mistaken for zombie, mistaken for zombies, feral ghouls are actually horribly irradiated humans whose brains have rotted away, causing madness. Yeah. Seeing several of these things running at you is enough to make you think. Heads up. Must have been from him. Must have been from him that I killed. Okay. Back to Ten Pines. And then to Preston. And then we start building up the settlement again. And I'm going to show, give you all the guided tour of all that I changed in Sanctuary. Excuse me. You find those raiders? Yeah. I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Okay, so that's a settlement for us. And that sounds like gunfire in the distance. Yep, Super Mutant Raiding Party. Yeah, I got a little trigger happy.
There's another settlement location over there. I gotta clear it out, but I gotta be careful. One of the raiders there is packing a mini nuke launcher. Hmm. Pack Brahmin. A caravanner? Super Mutant Suicider. That was what that blast was. Suiciders. Yep. Super Mutant Suiciders, they have mini they have a mini nuke in their chain to their hand. And when they charge you, they will slam their hands down to basically detonate the nuke, destroying themselves, but also hopefully killing their target at the same time. But yeah, it looks like we got a dead traitor here. Uh -huh. Let's see. Looks like he was all by himself. Which, I mean, that doesn't make any sense anyway. I mean, why the hell would you be by yourself? I'm going to drop some stuff to make myself lighter, that way I can fast travel. And now, back to Sanctuary. Okay, before we check in with Preston, as you can see, I built a structure here. One of the things that people requires is a bed. So, we put some beds and shelters. I used uh, basic open flooring for the main part and, a, and a hallway end caps for each individual room. Used a staircase here, goes up to the second floor. We got a basically kind of like a lookout area well a rest area technically goes up to the third floor where it's going to be the third floor it's kind of open at the moment but ain't really added anything ain't really going to go any further until you know we start recruiting more people okay food wise we built a nice little garden here. Some melons, some tomatoes, all called tatoes. They're kind of like a weird crossbreed between tomatoes and potatoes, I guess. Uh, mute fruit, some corn. A uh, bit of fun, bit of fun crafting. Tomatoes, mute fruit, and corn, along with purified water, makes vegetable starch, which is a super strong adhesive. 
That's our water pump. We built a concrete enclosed area that houses not only the terminal, but also the generator. And further over here, we have our defenses. St uh, we have our defenses set up. We have two turrets on scaffolds. Uh, we ha yeah, we have two turrets on elevated platforms here, and we've got two more turrets on the pedestals there. And we've got a tall scaffolding tower with a watchtower on, with a watch point on top, for anyone you know wanting to keep a sharp lookout okay so that's basically all we built in this settlement well plus the scavenging parts let's see yeah. trash can Carla that she's a traitor she gives you scrap and now let's see yep there's press you know that settlement you sent me to help they've decided to join the Minutemen that's great news I knew you were the right person for the job by the way you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is <laughs> there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Dialogue bug. Still. Now I'm the general of the Minuteman. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Okay. So yeah. Equipment we've got now is a flare gun. Basically, if you use it as a weapon, it causes incendiary damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. It causes incendiary damage to a target. To this place here. Your energy. <laughs> yes, Mal Murphy. Um, yeah. The flare gun also summons any nearby Minutemen. The more settlements you have, the more Minutemen you have, 
uh, the greater the chance you will get reinforcements. All right, first let's store all that junk. And uh, let's see. Hey. <laughs> okay. Let's get all our let's get all of our, let's lighten dog meat up a little bit. Let's let him keep the bandana, though. Okay, I'm gonna scrap. I'm gonna scrap these access these excess weapons. so easily. Hmm. You want to get a lot of steel? Scavenge pipe pistols and other pipe weaponry. You'll get some pretty good steel out of it. Okay, that's got a reflex sight instead of glow sight. Instead of scrapping that one, I think I'll just hand it off, or I think I'll just put it in storage. Put a compensator on it. Hmm. Do a full stock. Okay. Yes, apparently you can make Lucille in the game. <laughs> Let me see. Mm. That still requires gun nut rank 2 for the full stock of the shotgun.
coming together, huh? I can't take all the credit. I'm just deciding what to how to how to improve my weapons next. Just shut the mic off and figure out what to do. The uh, logic of Bethesda. You go from a wood bat you collect. Suddenly you've got aluminum. Suddenly you've got an aluminum one. Hmm. Congratulations, we've turned a battle a hunting rifle into a battle rifle. <laughs> That's that. Our equipment is upgraded. Whoops, wrong, wrong thing. Let's see. Store that. Store that.
All right. Okay, we finished. We finished uh, dealing with the raiders. I've shown y'all around the settlement. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video here. Uh, thanks to a thanks to a buddy of mine, Alfonso Kirkland. Yeah. You can find him on YouTube as well. Um, I'll try to put his. I'll try to put the link to his channel in the description below. Take take a good look. Take a take a look at his content. Content. He does a lot of live streams, and he has uh, basically helped me get everything started for me. Uh, figure out how to possibly do my first live stream. I'll try to do it tomorrow. If not, it may be another. It may be. Uh, Mm, it may be Tuesday or Monday so alright y'all have a good night remember to remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already and uh, y'all have a good night